Greetings everyone, my name is Etterville, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Mariovania. During the last part, I defeated Lucky Thunder at the end of Skyfall Sanctuary, although it took several attempts to actually get to him because of the precision of the flying mechanic. Let's see his, mecha his stats. 15,000 HP as expected, he's, he's strong against Thunder, and he always drops the Bolt of Luck too. Off screen I decided to do some level grinding, so now my fire bar is upgraded. Off screen and I also upgraded the Goomba Avenger, or at least tried to train it a little bit. I will have to level up the Bolt of Lakitu due to the spam ability or something, as well as many of the other abilities like the Shadow Ma Flower, Magic Beetroot, Nova Stone, I'm pretty sure they're going to eventually be useful anyway. Especially the higher level ones like the Bolt and the Shadow. And I switched back to the Blast ability. Also, I made a mistake in the last part. I said I was going to have to explore the shadow or distorted uh, dimension, but in reality, I forgot this area. This was opened up one. This area was opened up once I hit the red switch. So let's see where it connects to. The bonus area. But there are enemies here, so let's see what this is all about. Oh, nice! I leveled up. So let's see what this area, this bonus area has to offer. And let's hope that this bonus area isn't a bonus level from, from heck or something. Um, that doesn't look like the right size for actually going through that. Um, only one coin per each, so, okay. I'm going to rapidly hit this so I can actually get all the coins. This does not fit Mario's shape for going in. That's for sure. I just wonder what the boss will be of this area if it's really focused on bonuses and whatnot. I wonder. Oh yeah, I, I forgot. I turned off hard butt. Uh, I'm going to turn it off because I don't really find that much of a use for it. And considering these all are just one coin, they aren't really that worth it. But I'll hit them all anyway, just in case there is a secret item or something. And we have the bonus Sir Koopa Shell Riding Team from, I believe, Super Mario 64, if I recall correctly. And each of them contains 10 coins, so that's interesting. Very linear for now. Thankfully, most of the enemies don't deal that much damage at all. Although, in retrospect, I think I was supposed to go to this area right after I hit the red switch, instead of going to Bowser's Keep or or hitting the Dimensional Anomaly. I mean, or oh, getting the Dimensional Interrupter. Hmm, there's a lot of areas I can access from here. Oh, oh boy. Holy Goombas. They're still as dangerous as they were before. Thankfully I can spam. Hmm, I... Okay, just like the... What was it? Oh yeah, the gar... The Tangle Gardens. I'm going to have to hit multiple switches in order to progress, it seems. And yeah, the stones are still kind of dangerous. Especially as they don't have stone resistance. Yeah, I'm going to have to go through a lot of these areas and hit the switches, it seems, in order to get the final item. I think there's one relic left. Yeah, I have one more relic to go, so that's probably it. Oh, I almost got it, and I just ran right past it. Nope, I don't think I can hit it. Yep, I need to... Okay, that's what I need to go through next, it seems. Oh, there are four squares too, so it makes a total it actually makes sense where everything connects to. I think at least. Whoa, that screen flash. Oh, yeah, the spiny eggs are more dangerous because they can knock me into the stonies.
Oh, and they spawn spiny eggs. Wonderful. Oops, I forgot I equipped the bomb. Let me fix that right now. Okay, there. There we go, one down, and... Okay, I should have hit all the switches by now, so... There we have it. Of course, I just roll right into the stony. I still have the warrior suit equipped, so I may want to switch uh, back to the Luigi suit if I can't make these jumps. Okay, what is this? Raccoon tail. Uh... Oh, wonderful, I have the ability to glide now. So now I can finally get the final items at the... What was it? The uh, haunted library. As well as a few other areas, it seems. Well, I suppose that's it for the bonus area. Unless there's more to this area if I go through here in the dimensional distortion version of this. Hmm. What else am I missing? Well, I suppose I should uh, collect the missing items, so I'll see you at the haunted library then. Okay, I'm at the haunted library. Let's get this. Okay, I need to get a running start then. There we go. We got stars maxed up, and we got 500 coins. And 100 too. And there we have it, back back easily. And I just also realized, I forgot to mention, I have every single relic. And I have nowhere else to go, so I guess I'm forced to have to go to the uh, dimensional distortions. Especially as that there's that large area that's unexplored at the bottom. And I can't progress eastward at the... Skyfall Sanctuary, so I suppose I need to enter the Dimensional Distortion, find another warp pipe, and get out from there. I guess that's how I'll also reach Bowser, because I have no clue where Bowser is. Well, unless I cheat and look at the final world map, I won't stoop to that level. And it seems like those cross symbols indicate that there will be uh, extra boss fights in the Dimensional areas, uh, the Dimensional Distortions. I keep switching what term we'll be using for them. My apologies. Oh, I so love when I can do this. It's when there's only a short area where I have a lot of problems actually performing this correctly. And I realized that the Neon Cat I saw earlier back at the Kordos Infinity, it may have a useful item that I might want to collect if I can actually kill it. And I'll keep the wire suit on so I can get a lot of extra money. Might as well. Okay, it should be up here. I just wish I had you now I had gear that prevents curse the curse status or something. Or at least reduces it so it becomes less annoying. There should be a point up there where I can actually get up. Oh, at least I can one-shot them. Let's see if I can actually do the flight. Okay, oh, 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 I see, I see. There was a trick. So it's semi-solid. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, there we have it, and, um... Oh, I see. I need to get up here. But I must make sure not to jump uh, so high that I actually uh, pass through the... Okay, there we go. Nice trick, actually, so you can get an extra life max up. And the stars max up. Very clever and precise. And I get a tree-up moon, too, for my exploits. Very nice. So, okay. I'll be teleporting back and visiting... Um, hmm, let's see here. Okay, I think I'll be visiting the shop and see what's over there, because I see no other place where I can collect, collect some items. Okay, let me check the Tangle Garden one more time before I go there. Aha, that's what I was missing earlier. There's actually a secret passage right over here. Although that wasn't exactly what I was aiming for. 
thank you eye, or magical eye, whatever it's called, a peeping eye. I can't really hit it this way, so magical beef root, here we go. More life. I'm not complaining. And we get a star refresh, which I forget does it. And restore us 500 stars. Way more than what I need now, but hey, I won't complain. Alright, the last item should be on the top left of this room. Um, okay. I was expecting something more difficult, but apparently I could actually just make it with a double jump. I just completely overlooked this. Hmm, alright, one more look, and then I'll return. I'll be heading up to the a chamber of Goombas. Okay, I figured out how to get this one. I'll show you... Well, I already showed you here. Nice and clever, I thought you'd have to go to the top room, but nope, it's right over here. Hmm... Well, there's one thing back in the... Uh, what was it? The waterways, but I don't really feel like going over there. Not the waterways, the other area. Um, the Forbidden Caverns. Well, and I know there's that one block on the top left at the uh, Bowser's Keep or hall Hallways of Bowser, but I don't really feel there'll be anything of use there, so you know what that means. Alright, let's retry our retrace our steps and I'll see you back at the Castle Entrance Warp Pipe. Alright, I'm back at the castle entrance uh, warp pipe. Let's try this again, shall we? Last time it didn't go out so well, but this time I think I hit all of the switch palaces, those being red, blue, green, and yellow, as well as black, can't forget that one. And I got all the relics, so I should be able to access almost everywhere here. And I suppose this is the only way to get to Bowser, especially over those pits. Normally I would go to Skyfall Sanctuary, but considering how difficult, how much more difficult, the area or distortion dimension at a Tangled Garden was, I'm very worried. So I'm going to explore from here and see if we can hit another warp pipe. This time I'm not going down, I'm going left. That's the last time where I died, of course. Mainly because of this. If I can make this jump. See, if I can actually, if I can get up here, then it's completely stuck. As you can see over here, there's Mario with his trusty vampire killer as a stand-in for Richter Belmont. There's Bowser's Dracula and Kamek as Shaft or Det. Although in this case, she's kind of currently dead. Nice re reference to Dracula X. Or whatever its original title was, I forget. Yep, I was very sure about that. I just gotta be really careful about not dying for everything. For one, I don't remember there being lava in this uh, area. Oh, and there is gold what I was saying. Thankfully the cape is really helpful. At least it was rewarding. Ultra Mushroom. Oh. Oh, sorry, I got surprised by the potable. But yeah, this is a nice oversight. It makes dealing with these hammer hammer giants so much better. I wonder if you can ow. I wonder if you can actually get uh, giant hammers by killing them. Oh no, not these. The clear dry bones who temporarily uh, become invulnerable. Wonderful lot level up. I gotta be really cautious about nearby these. Sadly, I don't have any holy weapons for some reason. Yet, at least. Whoa, what was that? Oh. I gotta be careful about the mad pianos. Especially because of how dangerous they are. I'm just gonna fly above them. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm just gonna see... Oh. Oh, no, no, boy. Mad blocks. Yeah, they're tr Okay, now they have Kaiser blocks. Wonderful. Now I'm shooting stars, which will probably kill me if I run into them. Oh, no, a parallel. Oh, boy. Okay, I'm going to have to ignore that. 
Quick save. Oh, whoa. I want to hit the quick save block. There's a boss battle right over here. First chaos core, it seems. So one core per location. No difference. When you defeat a core, all the other ones will get stronger equally no matter where you fight. Oh, um... Okay then, let's fight our first Chaos Core. And then afterwards I'll see what's happening on the top right. And we have a special door, so let's see how my first fight goes. Oh boy. We have very menacing music, actually. Okay, you should start by shooting us. Oh, I, I better use an item. I'm gonna spam all my roasted Goombas, of course. And all the Super Mushrooms. I wonder... Okay then. I didn't expect the Chaos Core to just die from that, from all those blasts. I was expecting it to be a lot harder. It dealt a lot of damage to me, but apparently it was a glass cannon to the nth degree, so... Um... Strange. Okay, Entity with Sealed Dracula's powers. We each destroy, next one will be stronger. Oh no. If we destroy all of them, we'll probably get the best ending, but then we'll have to fight Dracula or something. That's not really... in my favor. Okay then. Let, let me just use some more Super Mushrooms so I don't die right in the middle of this. Wow, okay, so it one-shots them, thankfully. I want to get up here and see what's going on. Okay, there we go. Oh, thankfully for the life... there's a life restore. Oh, not that. Hello, I'm trying to get up here. I want to get that item up there. Oh, Tree Up Moon, wonderful. Okay, so I completed a dimensional distortion of um, the castle entrance. Let's try one more. Clever. I can't actually hurt them e that easily. They were smart. I don't want to have to deal with this mad piano, so... Oh, of course. You have flying enemies that are rapidly going nearby. But this would be a great place for the what, the Goomba Avenger. Or of course I could just do this. That works too. I get the feeling I'm going to have to use a lot more different weaponry. You know what, I'm gonna get out of here so I don't die again. And then I'll come back and explore the bottom area once again and, and collect the things I lost. But all those super mushrooms I collected thanks to that badge are going to be really useful. Or have been really useful. Plus the wires you drop allowing enemies to drop coins randomly are also pretty he helpful. As I said, I wasn't expecting the Chaos Core to be a glass cannon. But I suppose the next ones will be much harder. There are at least 12 areas in this game after all, and I suppose each one will vary up their strategies. And I suppose these uh, dimensional distortions are a bit smaller than their base areas. After all, I explored about 60% of the castle, and 40% will probably be the distortion. Okay, so I see what, what they meant by mer why parts of the castle are merged, but I wonder how the combine will work. Interesting. Still, I can't deal with the titans. I'm gonna take care of you first. So I don't need to deal with you later. I'm gonna take it the slow route so I don't yeah, especially because of that. I'll sniff it, deal with them as quickly as possible, of course. 
I met them in the factory and their bullets are really dangerous. Hello, Wiggler. Bye, Wiggler. Oh, it's so satisfying to use the Goomba Avenger. It's basically just a... It's basically my instant kill button in case I need to kill something rapidly. Let's see if I can run up this. There we go. Goomba Avenger again. Just two shot it. Wonderful. I manage if I can get the final boss to do that. And I can re get the Berserker Boots, although I will not use it because I'm not that good skilled of a player. If I was, I would be using it everywhere. Truth be told. Once again, Spam Blast everywhere. It's become my favorite melee tech, basically. Let's kill you, Twomp, of course, so I can now can get up safely. Or at least try to. There we go. Well, this area was certainly a lot easier than it, it did before. Of course, it would have been if I didn't die at that first uh, uh, Koopa Giant. Alright, let me save again, and I'll meet you at a different area. Alright, I tried doing the Tangle Garden, but that ended up in disaster, so let me do the third area, which was the waterway. Let's see how bad that will be. Hopefully we don't have super sharks with lasers or something. Or super sushis, as they're really called. Okay, fair enough. They're disconnected from each other. Oh, whoa. We have these super chiefs. Floating mines. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, they deal a ton of damage as expected. The chain chiefs, I mean. Come on down. Hmm. How will I get up there? Okay, I need to do a triple jump here. Almost got that. There we have it. Let's see what's... I don't recognize what team this, ga uh, this music's from. Pretty fitting. Oh, goody. Now we have lava. And chainsaws. My favorite combination. And now we have water again. Well, I suppose this is a distorted realm for that particular reason, and I completely missed that mine. How are you supposed to get up here? Do I need a spike breaker item or something? Do I need a spike breaker item, I was going to say? And then I realized these actually respawn. And I remembered I have the ability to jump higher based off that one. Oh no, not you. Okay, they're only the one damage one. Oh no, there are a lot of potobos. Are these the classic poto? Uh, they're only the classic potobos and not the more dangerous ones. At least I can also glide. Ow. Should be something of use here. Oh no. Oh, whoa. Do they deal that much damage now? Holy moly.
Oh, uh, yeah, dude. Okay. Okay, these Lakitu's are much more dangerous now. By far. Uh... Okay. Uh, that's not what I meant. Where are you? Bomb. That's not what I meant, but okay. There we go. Oh, I wonder where that chain chomp went. I'm hoping I'm going the right direction. There's a Sniffet over there. Oh, of course, and I failed to jump. Oh, thank you, Super Mushroom. I'm, si I'm going to run uh, still run out of this so soon enough. Okay, at least these don't damage me. I was totally expecting it to damage me. I totally expect the chainsaws to be extremely deadly or something. Oh no. Not now. Oh, okay. They aren't that far. Okay, come on. Get close to me. Uh, where did you go? Okay, so it did despawn. Fine with me, I guess. Oh no, coming back here is going to be a slight problem. Oh, I, I forgot to equip the... de-equip that. Either this is leading to a boss or I'm going the wrong way. I so wish I had a warp item or something. Oh, well, I forgot how much damage it does even when you run into it. So much off-screen money grinding I'll have to do. Well, I suppose this is the hardest area of the game, so it makes sense. I just keep getting the feeling I'm doing this the wrong way or something. Okay, there's the boss fight. Thank you for putting a quick save over there. The other important thing is how am I gonna get back though? I so wish I had a warp ability. Alright, let's get this started. It's okay if I die though, I have a quick save. Just right over there, so I'll have to get used to this. Totally fine, and that was a perfect place for having a quick save. You know what, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I used the healing boots plus healing pants combination to restore all my health. And I actually leveled up once again, so I'm at 1000 HP. Alright, let's put this show on the road and do this. Once I finish this, it'll be an end of this part. At least there's a quick save both ways. Let's see, I need to use the... where is... Did I actually... oh, I didn't. Hold on. Okay, it hit. And I can multi hit it, nice. If I do it correctly. Wonderful, two hits on the Goomba Avenger and all those rapid jumps killed it. Two cores are destroyed. Oh, and the quick save isn't there. Um, okay then. Well, I guess this is a good time to call it quits, especially with all the exploration I've done. I'll, I'll just retreat back into here. Alright, to summarize what I did, I explored the bonus area east of the clock tower. 
and got some items from the Haunted Library at Chamber of Goombas, as well as the Tangle Garden. And as well as that, I decided to explore the Distortion Realm, and I defeated the Shadow Cores at the Castle Entrance, as well as the Waterways. Although for the Waterways, I haven't completely explored this area yet. So I will do that in the next part, and hopefully survive and, re and return back and explore the rest. It's definitely quite a step up in difficulty, boy, especially with the much more dangerous enemies. I feel either I'm going to have to get a level up more, get better armor, probably scattered around this realm, or get better as this is reminiscent of several NES titles which had really punishing difficulty. Well then, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Toodles!